The president, Nigerian Union of Journalists, Comrade Chris, has expressed his displeasure over the current situation bedeviling the country, ranging from insecurity, health care delivery, inflation on prices of goods, food security, and harassment and intimidation of journalists. Comrade Chris said, the rate of insecurity in the country is alarming as terrorists and banditry are ravaging most parts of the Northeast, while the Southeast are battling with IPOP agitation. Gentlemen of the press, it is almost becoming unbelievable the geometric rate of attacks by terrorists, bandits, in different locations. The unfortunate development is certainly unacceptable, particularly with the proportion and dimension insecurity has assumed in the country to the extent that no one is sure of where is safe anymore. While terrorism and banditry are ravaging most parts of the Northeast, Northwest, and some states in the North Central Geopolitical Zone, we are mostly worried at the number of kidnap cases we record every day especially in Kaduna, Zamfara, and Niger states. IPOP agitation and assumed criminality is also sweeping across the Southeast geopolitical zone. As of today, Imo and Anambra states have become notorious for disturbing trends in kidnapping and killings. The security agencies must rise to the occasion especially in Imo states where some arrests have been made with suspects making mind-boggling revelations. <coughs> We've heard that some suspects are in custody since last year and have even mentioned names of politicians as their sponsors. We should not ignore such revelations and we believe all those fingered in this must be brought to book. He also said the attack on the Kuje Maximum Prison in Abuja and the attack on the presidential convoy convening an advance party of officials for the Salah visit of President Muhammad Buhari to Daura is a frightening dimension of another threat to security challenge faced in the country today. Just last Tuesday night, the audacity of these criminal gangs was expressed in a daring raid on the Kuje Maximum Security Prison in Abuja. The correctional facility was breached for hours without any reinforcement being sent after soldiers and other guards were overpowered. According to the correctional service officials, over 600 inmates escaped, including all the Boko Haram members in detention. Before then, a presidential convoy conveying an advance party of officials for the Salah visit of Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari to Dara, was attacked and it took the presidential guards much effort to repel the attackers. This is the frightening dimension of security challenges in the country today. While we commend the federal government, the Nigerian military and other security agencies for their commendable efforts in tackling the situation, we however appeal to the government not to be deterred, but to continue in providing the needed support to the armed forces, the police, and other security agencies in the fight against all forms of insecurity. The war will surely be won by Nigeria, and the enemies of the country shall be put to shame. In his final note, he addressed the matter of journalists being harassed and intimidated and also called on INEC to continue to exercise its mandate in a fair and just manner. We encourage INEC to continue to exercise its mandates in a fair, just and non-discriminatory manner. Voters are critical stakeholders in the electoral process and should be treated as such. The union believes that extending the deadline for voter registration for a much longer period will be entirely in consonance with constitutional and international best standards and the Electoral Act 2022 as well. Also, any such extension would definitely not impact negatively on the next election calendar and activity. We cannot end this press conference without addressing a matter of serious concern 
to the leadership of the NUJ. It has to do with the unwarranted and unacceptable manner some security agencies have allowed themselves to be used by some politicians to harass, intimidate, arrest, and most often detain journalists for carrying out their legitimate and constitutionally assigned duties and responsibilities of government and its functionaries accountable. A situation where politicians run to the police on flimsy issues alleging libel or slander over public stories without following laid down legal procedures and clear provisions of the 1999 Constitution as amended must be checked by the heads of security agencies concerned. In the same vein, a situation where the police or any of the security agencies now want to assume the role of the court should also not be allowed. This must be stopped forthwith owing to the fact that the law is clear and properly defined on such matters. Journalists must be allowed to carry out their professional duties in the public interest without intimidation and harassment. Dockers or Larry Waju Voice TV, Nigeria. <laughs>